Welcome back, everyone, and prepare to be bedazzled, because today I'm going to be commencing my review of the McFarlane Toys Spawn King Spider action figure. Is this action figure a paragon of resounding perfection, or should it be relegated to the dumpster, or is it characterized by insipid, underloyed mediocrity? In the form of a quantity, Scott have to raise this action figure to be an 8 out of 10. Would I deem this action figure to be a meritorious, stellar, stupendous, extraordinary, robust action figure? Yes, I would. Does he hit all cylinders? Does he tickle my fancy? Does he pique my interest? Does he assuage? my need for a King Spider action figure. I'm relieved that this action figure has been released. If you are an avid, devout, avowed, hardcore Spawn fan, then this action figure will aptly appease you in every facet, to say the least. Of course, the future is enigmatic and obscured beyond a number of time. However, this action figure hiss all cylinders in every aspect. How so, you may ask? Well, he has high quality aesthetics, a high quality sculpt, high quality textures, high quality details, high quality shadings, and has ample points of articulation. You can maneuver him into nearly any pose that you can conceive of in the bowels of your mind. This King Spawn action figure is incredible. He also comes bundled with a slew of accessories, such as a ball chain, alternative hands, and a skull rock base attachment. He's a copious amount of redeeming qualities, to say the least. He's durable, he's sturdy, and he has articulation in all the requisite joints. Fortunately, much of my elation, much of my gratification, much of my relief, he is subsumed under a one-tenth action figure scale, so we scales Emily well with a prodigious 67-inch action figure collection. You will tower over 6-inch action figures. Is he burly? Is he brawny? Is he bulky? Is he hefty? Well, he's more sizable relative to the run-the-mill conventional six-inch action figure. Since this King Spider action figure is subsumed under a one-tenth action figure scale, he will stand significantly taller than the average dainty, lean, scrawny, six-inch action figure. So, in regards to areas of improvement, as a steep, staggering, hefty, exorbitant, lofty, premium price point of $25 plus sales tax, he should have came funded with additional figures and tandem with a build-a-figure piece for a meticulously detailed behemoth of a 16-inch build-a-figure. If you recollect the eight Dark is more bludgeons action figures, not only came bundled with a comic book, but they also came bundled with a meticulously detailed build-a-figure piece for a behemoth of a 16-inch build-a-figure. Lamentably, much to my dismay, much to my consternation, much to my chagrin, much of my agony, much of my irritation, and much of my agitation, that's not the case in this context. Even though we're paying a markup that is 212.5% that is greater than the retail price of an $8 Topaz Marvel Legends action figure, we're not receiving a Build-A-Figure piece nor a comic book when we purchase the Spawn King Spider action figure. So that's quite a disappointment and a letdown to say the least. Does this action figure offer comparable value to three $8 Topaz Marvel Legends action figures in tandem with three comic books 
and three build a figure pieces for a meticulously detailed behemoth of a 16 inch build a figure. Lamentably, the answer is no. Is it deplorable? Is it reprehensible? Is it repugnant that this action figure is $25 plus sales tax? It is not, but I would have preferred if the value he furnished to action figure collectors was commensurate to the value that the eight Octopus Marvel Legends action figures furnished to action figure collectors. The markup is going to be 212% greater than the retail price of an eight Octopus Marvel Legends action figure. But the price of the action figure is going to be 312.5% of the price of an eight Octopus Marvel Legends action figure. Then we should be furnished with enough value that is on par with the value furnished to us when we procured the eight Octopus Morph Legends action figures. However, that is not the case because McFarlane Toys omitted to include a Build-A-Figure piece and a comic book with this King Spider action figure, and they also omitted to bundle in additional action figures with this King Spider action figure. If you recollect, the Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figures sometimes came bundled with additional figures. The Eight Dark Topaz Marvel Legends Silver Surfer action figure, for instance, came bundled with a Howard the Duck action figure. Furthermore, the Eight Dark Topaz Marvel Legends Deadpool action figure came bundled with the dupe action figure. So if we're going to expend $25 plus sales tax, on this King Spider action figure, he should have been bundled with a myriad of additional figures. They should have wedged far more into the package and they could have consolidated far more into the package. And However, my final verdict is 8 out of 10. I'm done adjudicating over the matter. It also would have been a redeemable feature if he featured 32 to 40 points of articulation and Louvre featuring around 22 points of articulation. I would have preferred if he possessed finger joint articulation. In tandem was toe articulation. I'm under the axiom that he is devoid of toe articulation. So, if he came bundled with additional figures in conjunction with builder figure pieces, then I would have furnished him with a 9 out of 10 review score in lieu of an 8 out of 10 review score. However, if the price were significantly lower and closer to the retail price of an 8 Dark Topaz Marvel Legends action figure, then I would have also furnished him with a higher review score. However, my verdict at this juncture remains resolute in terms of my review score for the King Spider action figures, so I'll conclude with 8 out of 10 being my final review score. I hope that you deem this video to be engrossing, enthralling, riveting, captivating, and mesmerizing. I do not know anything about this character's lore, but I'm under the axiom that he's the nemesis of Spawn, but who the show knows, I do not read the Spawn comic books, so... This character's lore is enigmatic to me. Once again, I hope that you deem this video to be entertaining and amusing. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.